it's Christy Morgan, the Blissful Chef. I am on my East Coast book tour, and I am towards the end. I'm in Philadelphia now, and I have the pleasure of cooking something with you with Allison of Manifest Vegan and Jamie from Save the Kales. Hi, guys. Hi. We're super excited to have Christy in Philadelphia with us, and we're going to be making something really delicious. It's Allison Kramer. I do the blog Manifest Vegan. I take photos and make the recipes for it and I also have a book coming out called Great Gluten-Free Vegan Eats. It should be hitting the shelves around June 2012 so keep an eye out for it. I can't wait for your book. It looks so Thank good. You. I know even just based on the cover, the cover is beautiful. You guys are great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'm Jamie. Uh, I write the Save the Kales blog and um, I'm also a co-organizer for the Bethlehem Veg Fest. We are just whipping something up out of thin air Probably. with what she had available in her fridge. We're making a veggie chickpea patty. And then we're gonna make a sauce to go on top, which we're totally just making up. It's like a delicious greens, pesto-y, flavorful avocado. of avocado. Maybe we'll do some curry powder. Yeah. We're just gonna make it up, because that's how we roll. Yeah. <laughs> that's how we cook. <laughs> so let's get started. Okay. Woo here. I am uh, pulsing until crumbly, a can of garbanzo bin by Eden Organic. I recommend you use this brand as well because it's very tasty. And into the pulse chickpeas, we have two tablespoons of flaxseed meal, a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, and a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Get that all mixed up. Scrape the sides as needed. We also have some shredded zucchini and some shredded carrots. So, like I always say, I like to stick as many vegetables as possible into all of my dishes. So, we're going crazy with the vegetables today. All right. So, I just took out half of the amount of chickpeas to give some room for the sauteed vegetables. And we'll put those back in there. Toss them in and then pulse them up. We've got our mixture that's nice and well mixed. Lots of good greens and vegetables in there. It tastes really good. So I am adding in a quarter cup of brown rice flour. So we're just gonna kind of sprinkle it in there to incorporate. And then stir well to combine. And give it a little bit of uh, binding power, a little bit of texture. So we got our mix ready for our patties. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's right here. And it looks delicious. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put it on a cookie sheet lined with a Silpat mat, which is really awesome. They've been around for a long time. This is pretty neat. It's like... It's uh, silicone. Oh. So you don't have to ever use parchment paper again. It's reusable. That's awesome. Eco-friendly. Eco-friendly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So you just put that on the cookie sheet. And what we're going to do is we have a little bit of water here to sort of wet our hands because this stuff can be kind of sticky. And All right. how much are you taking? I don't know. A handful? Yeah, let's see. Like maybe about like that? That looks good. Or is that too big? No, I think that looks good. I mean, they could be smaller. We'll see if this works. Like I said, we're just winging it because that's what chefs do. <laughs> And they're not going to spread, so you can put them close together on the on the cookie sheet. And they look really colorful. It looks like someone threw a bunch of uh, edible confetti in here. So we're sticking our patties into the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit um, for maybe about 50 minutes or so. We're going to have to see how long it takes to bake them. All right, we're going to make our sauce. So let's start with the avocado. Everything is better with avocado, so we're going to use two of them. And what else do we have here? Some steamed kale, super nutritious. This is some coconut milk, also delicious, or fresh dill. We're just throwing everything in a food processor. Some lime juice and some lemon juice. All right, we're gonna add a little bit of spice to this, a teaspoon of curry powder, and a teaspoon of dried coriander. Okay, so we just pulled our patties out of the oven. And again, this is why the still pat is so great because it doesn't stick to the, the patty does not stick. You can just lift it up and there's no residue underneath. 
So thank you for joining us today. It was a blast cooking with Allison and Jamie. Yeah. And like I said, we just whipped these up and we're gonna give them a try. Yeah. Mm. So let's dollop some of the sauce that we made, which was mm. avocado, dill, curry. Is that too much? No, that, I, I'm a sauce girl. Yeah. I love to sauce it up. So it's really pretty. Just yeah. dab a little sauce on there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to eat it with my hands. Yeah, is that okay? Yeah, just go for it. Okay, we're all friends here. Yeah. <laughs> that is delicious. It tastes like a Southwestern burger. Sort of. Ooh. Yeah, and you can even... Sam's bun. Yeah. <laughs> you can even use this, we decided mm -hmm. as a guacamole dip, and dip it with corn chips or crackers. Yeah. 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 That yeah. is so good. I'm glad we made a lot. Do you think your kids will like this? I know they'll like it. They're going to devour it. We're going to so. experiment with <laughs> So when they get done experimenting with this ourselves. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so thanks for joining us. I'm at theblissfulchef.com, manifestvegan.com, <laughs> and savekales.com. Save Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>